a fight for equality. These businesswomen in the mining town say they are being forgotten by the mining industry operating in their area. They demand skills transfers, saying they are only recognized on paper, but the reality is a disaster. We are not recognized. We are being used as IDs whenever needed. We are only recognized on policies and in statements and speeches. There's no activity action for us as women. We want skills transfer in order to grow. So when these big companies go back to where they come from, we now have at least the necessary required skills that is actually required from us as businesswomen. Threatening to take matters into their own hands, they believe a shutdown of mining operations is the only way to be heard. We are now in process of arranging a shutdown, a complete shutdown. No one will enter, no one will exit. We will make sure, and it's not going to be your normal once of one day shutdown. We will shut it down for a week. And we're not playing this time because we are blatantly ignored as the residents for, of Tansabane, especially the women. They say promises to invest in small businesses are never fulfilled. I think the challenge is we've got the necessary skills, we've got our profiles, we are compliant, but there's nothing that are given to us. With unemployment standing at 24.9% in the province, these businesswomen say the mining industry is failing to plow back into communities. The Redstone Solar Terminal Power Project acknowledged receipt of their demands, saying they are looking into their concerns. Katlehom Rapela, SABC News, Postmasberg in the Northern Cape.